Hello, I'm Christopher Bayliss from Fast Growth Online. Thank you for downloading the Fast Growth Workbook entitled Create and Protect Your Intellectual Property. Today, we're at the factory and offices of Name Audio, and I'm with Trevor Wilson, who's the Head of Research and Development. Trevor, thank you very much for giving up your valuable time. My pleasure, thank you. To make this video. The purpose of this video is, first of all, to set the context of why creating and protecting your intellectual property is so important, and then secondly, to give our viewers a couple of hints on how to use this particular workbook. Very well, good. Before we start, can you just briefly describe what Name Audio does, please? Name Audio is a designer and manufacturer of premium high-end audio equipment. Around the world? Worldwide products, yes. Okay. And which segments are you mainly in? We currently retail to home audio for personal installation as a primary, but we also provide a solution for a premium high-end automotive manufacturer. Is that Bentley? That is Bentley, yes. I'll just show the, the viewers here, uh, because this was here at Name. This is the latest Bentley magazine. Really beautiful, the Bentley. It looks like a Bentley Continental. And uh, as you say, you're, for the last couple of years, you've been supplying... We've We've been doing this now for six years, seven years. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Installation. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. And you're head of research and development, head of R&D. What primarily does that entail, that role? I coordinate the entire R&D team with the operations, the budgets and the project development for delivery to the business plan. Well done. Okay. So, can you think of um, a household name around the world that where creating and protecting its intellectual property is important to them, uh, Trevor? Uh, I would say the most obvious example is the recent experience we've all seen in the press between Apple and Samsung, yeah, yeah. where Apple filed for design rights to the iPad, yeah. and that's been central to the court case between Apple and Samsung currently. And that's been of huge value. So those design rights on the, on the Apple iPad, how much do you think that's worth to Apple? <sighs> Hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, definitely. Many of the uh, our viewers and people who've downloaded this are much smaller companies. Um, name is a turnover of about twenty million pounds. Mm -hmm. um, some would, would be a lot smaller than that. Can you give us an example of protecting and creating your intellectual property in terms of pound shillings and pence? Okay. Um, the most obvious one is filing patents for unique design features on our products. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done that on various products that we have. Mm -hmm. The benefit has been that we are then allowed to do that patent in the UK mm -hmm. for something called Patent Box. Mm -hmm. That Patent Box will give us a reduction in our corporation tax of 10% on all the profits we make on those products that use the patent. So how much was the cost of getting those patents? The tickets? filing was £5,000. Yeah. And 10% on your corporation? 10% reduction wow. in corporation tax. Significant amounts of money. Yeah, and what's brilliant is that it's worldwide mm. sales, not just the UK. Mm. So it's hugely important, considering we're selling so many markets. Okay. So that's the context of why this is so important. It's probably one of the most central ways of increasing the value, particularly of a technology company. Definitely. Okay, let's uh, focus now on this particular workbook. Mm -hmm. And may I ask you to read the focus and the, the purpose, please, uh, Trevor? Certainly. So, the Fast Growth Workbook for you to create and protect your intellectual property. The purpose of the workbook is for you to create your strategy that assists you to create your, and protect your intellectual property. The goal is for you is that within 12 months, as a result of your IP strategy, you significantly increase the market value of your company. And we've heard how you've increased the market value of name significantly through the, the, through the IP, various aspects of IP. Yes. Thank you very much. If you turn to page one, what's this? which is entitled, What's the Strategic Problem? 
Okay. Just read the top bit there, because I think this will certainly apply, maybe the reason why people downloaded this particular workbook, uh, Trevor. So, what is the strategic problem? Many of us are unaware of the financial and commercial value that intellectual property, IP, gives us. This means that our companies, our products and services are often unprotected. IP rights not only put your company above your competitors, but considerably increase your market value when you come to sell your company. As you know, most companies are on, it, on a curve of improving their business, mm -hmm. growing their business, and then ultimately selling their business, uh, which you've certainly done in this company, have you, where you've merged with other companies and then ha and, and had investment in to take it to the next level. Indeed. Very crucial. And what we do in many of these workbooks is ask people to assess themselves on a scale one to 10, where one is barely adequate and 10 is outstanding. Now, I'm not going to actually do this publicly, but I would encourage you when, when, when we finish to do this, um, feel free to share this with your other directors and mm -hmm. other people and do this as a, as a team thing. Indeed, definitely. Okay. So that's really important uh, hint is actually, do think about what the problem really is and assess yourself. Okay. The second hint is on uh, page 2B, and it's called Identify the Key Classic IP in Your Company, Intellectual Property. And there are six main types of classic IP, Trevor, as you can see there. Uh, trademarks, copyright, patents or patents. Design rights, and we talked about that in relation to uh, Apple and Samsung. Database rights, which may be um, important to certain companies. And then intangible assets, like goodwill, skills of the workforce, etc. Okay, makes mm -hmm. sense. Indeed. So getting people to identify what the classic ones, and then identify on the right-hand side the importance to your company. Um, so you can see that some of those would be vital to name, audio, some would be less so, as you can just rate yourself. Indeed. And then at the bottom there it says, which of the above rights is the most strategically important to your company? Please ask us your top three. Okay, makes Understood. sense. Yeah, definitely. And they are different, you can see it. Um, say for instance, the C4L, one of the companies in Bournemouth, that would be crucial for obvious reasons. Yes. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, on page 3A, this is the second hint, and I don't believe this has ever done, been done before, so this is the only place you can do it, is to calculate the value, the financial value of your intellectual property using the scoreboard below. And so it's 3A and 3B, you can see, you can turn the page there. And basically your commercial IP, and we look at it in terms of your brands, mm -hmm. which is very important to name, isn't it? They've got brands. Hugely important, yes. Your services. your customer and employee contracts, your IT systems, and your databases. And so it's a little qualitative scale uh, for those factors. And you can see at the bottom of page 3B there, your total score times two to get it up to 100, uh, and your, you know, your, your current score, and then think about what you want it to be within six to 12 months. Makes Understood. sense? Yep. And most of us are very comfortable doing um, stuff like this with tangible things like um, balance sheets and stuff, but it's just as important with this. Mm. Something you can measure. If it gets measured, then you can get your head around it. And then finally, the most important part of this workbook is create your IP strategy. It's on phase 5A. Most companies that, uh, that want to achieve fast growth, Trevor, obviously have a business strategy. They usually got a marketing and sales strategy. If they produce things, they've got a production strategy. Um, have they got an IP strategy? What's the situation here at NAME? It, the IP strategy is inherent on all our strategies. It's fundamental in the core. Mm, make it fundamental. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing some of this, which is actually quite confidential information. So this page 5A and, and the next page 5B is to actually create your strategy. Most important, do it, do it yourself. And then as it says on the final page, do it with your team. Page six is do it with your team. And 
uh, I am absolutely confident in saying that if you do this particular workbook, this will have a major impact on your growth and the value of your company. Trevor, you've got some very exciting developments ahead, both for the company as a whole and for you personally. Thank you for giving us your precious time, and may I wish you every success in the future. Thank you very much.